It's been 11 days since I've had the basal CMC joint arthritis surgery and today I got the bandage off, I got the stitches removed, and I got a new cast. So luckily it is smaller than the big bandage with the big thing inside. So I just wanted to tell you briefly about my experience. So um, the nurse, uh, Will, he worked with me. I didn't see the doctor today. And he's the one who started off by cutting the bandage off. And um, after that, I could see the two places where I had the stitches and there's a little bit of gauze on top of each. So the one on my arm is where they cut to actually pull the tendon. And the bigger one, of course, is where they repaired the joint. He pulled off that gauze and then he first, um, First he cut the stitches off. Now I had never had stitches out before. I've only had stitches when I had wisdom teeth out and those were the melt away stitches. And he had never had stitches himself before but he said he's been told that it feels like just a little bit of pressure and he was absolutely right. There was no pain at all. He was very skilled at this though and I told him it helps to be ambidextrous when you're doing what he's doing because in his left hand he was holding tweezers and then in the other hand he had the scissors. So he'd hold the Pull the stitch up a little bit with the tweezers and then cut it. After he was done, he pulled all the stitches out and then was going over it very carefully because the stitches they use at this particular facility are kind of a medium blue color, which surprised me and I said that to him and he said in ER places they tend to use black. Well, if you look at the wound, it's black and kind of blue and dark. I'm like, why don't they use orange? It just kind of surprised me because then you could see every little bit. So, you know, he's making sure every little bit was gone. Then he cleaned it, the wound several times with alcohol wipes. Then when he was certain it was all ready to go, then we were ready for this cast. And I took a picture of the casting materials that he had put out in the table. Now I too chose a waterproof cast, which is the material that's on the inside. If I had not gone with waterproof, he would have used something that's made of cotton. But I chose this just, you know, because I'm going to have this for like two and a half weeks and just so I can get it wet if I wanted to. So first he very expertly put this on. It has a little bit of a stickiness to it. Now I noticed um, that this material in the packaging was made by 3M. When he brought the inner part out, it didn't say what company makes it. So I asked him if 3M makes this as well. It actually feels like styrofoam and he said he wasn't sure. But because it felt like a post-it note <laughs> as he was putting it on, um, the way it just had a little bit of stickiness to it, I wouldn't be surprised if 3M makes both of them, but I could be wrong. So we got that all woven around and expertly cut around my thumb. Then when that was all set, then I chose purple because it was one of the darkest colors I had and I didn't want black. Um, and I figured it's going to show dirt a lot less than the lighter colors. Then he had three rolls of this in packages. He actually opened up one package at a time. It was in a roll. He had a small bucket of water there. He put it in the bucket, squeezed it out, and then started unrolling it and rolling it around my arm and again cutting it very expertly around my thumb. He did two packages. He always said he puts a third package out in case he'll need it and he didn't. So he put that away and I asked him how fast it dries because I didn't see a hair dryer out and he said it drives within five minutes and he was right because when it's wet it was dripping down. Um, he actually put something on the table to capture all that. My elbow was sitting on a cushion. Um, but he's right, it dried wet right away. And he told me to not get it wet for two days. So to continue wearing the arm cover, which I'm getting pretty expert at wearing. I even gave my dog a bath yesterday while wearing the arm cover. And I had the dog trimmed really short before all this started because I won't be able to groom her normally, um, which I need to do when she has long hair, I need to comb her out. But, you know, I waited to give her a bath until she was used to me handling her with one arm. So that was kind of comical, but it was easier to bathe her with her short hair. All right, so now I've got this. I'm really excited to see if more of my long sleeve clothes fit. You know, yesterday or the day before, I took out a shirt and I thought, well, you know, if I could get my 
the big sleeve, my big arm through the sleeve, I could just roll up the cuff. No, couldn't even get it through. So I'm hoping with some of my shirts that this is going to fit through it. Some of my shirts are really narrow forearms though, so I think I won't be able to wear those either. But this is definitely smaller than the bandage that had the big splint inside. So I'm really excited to have this. I'm going to have this now for uh, two and a half weeks and next I'll be getting it off. So if you haven't seen some of the other videos in the series, make sure to click show more below the video that'll open the description box and all of the videos for this series will be listed there. Or you can click one of the images on the right side of your screen or mouse over the upper right hand corner and a little eye shows up and you can click that eye to get to some other related videos as well. Because if you're going to be having the surgery, you want to watch all of these. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.